Up next, we're talking about behind the scenes and my thoughts in episode one. South Carolina area would be able to live with the fact that this place so I've been my life. Behind the scenes, our latest episode in the Economy mini series. Today, we're going to talk about behind, behind, the behind the scenes and my thoughts in episode one. But first, I want you to give you a reminder to follow us on all the Instagram, social media, Facebook, and check out our new shirt shop and m- many, m- many much more. And uh, that will all be in the Instagram bio when you see this when this comes out. And um, so today, we're going to talk about behind the scenes of, of Economy, really. So, um. Economy is a mixed, very mixed to work show. So I use like a few different websites and apps to get this to happen. And a few of those apps are Pick Play Post, iMovie, Magisto. Many of the different apps that that is what we use to make the economy. And of course, um, iMovies, we collab it all together and make this wonderful video you're watching right now. Not really. Um, so yeah, it's really, really it about the behind the scenes. And, um, so, but what the behind the scenes is really going to mean tonight is it's going to be my views and my ideas about the show. What I think. What, what, like, what my opinion is. And, um, so, basically, what my general idea of what economy is, is a show about things, places, companies that make our lives special or mean something to us. So, for example, the first episode was about downtown Gaffney. So downtown Gaffney is of course the centerpiece of our downs of, of, of Gaffney. So it's something that is special to the city of Gaffney. Which is why I did the downtown Gaffney first. I thought we can get some great footage with that too. And it's the same with the uh, next episode, which is Harold's restaurant in downtown. It's um, just a place that everyone really knows. And everyone has always passed by it before who was in Gaffney. And everyone knows about that. And um, it just has a rich history to it. I always feel like have a rich history to it. So, um, I mean, it's just, it's just a, play, a thing where it's special. And I mean, the, the idea for the show is just like, I have a very high interest in like companies and places and how things work and stuff like that. So that's basically what this show is about. And so, I want to say right now, you're watching drone footage of Gaffney, South Carolina, and uh, the Gaffney Dam and Lobster College in the city. But um, back to where I was, it's just like uh, important things, and I like to those kind of different things. So that's what we talk about here. That's kind of where the idea of the show came from. It came from that idea. So um, now I'm going to give you a little reflective from the first episode and uh, my little response to it. I think every Monday we're going to do a little like, response to... um. To the episode Wednesday, it, it, it'll, it'll be a video like this, or a video just on Instagram with, without me talking, or maybe um, maybe like a live video video on Instagram or YouTube. It'll be something like that where we um we just t- good to talk with you, and um, that's really what this show is all about here. It's all about the downtown. The downtown is just a rich, rich culture that you can't really deny the culture it has. And it makes an impact on us. So now we're gonna watch a video by Seven News about downtown and all of its different offerings. Glad you're watching Seven News Live at five tonight. We're taking you to a city known as the Peach Capital of South Carolina. It has a lot more to offer than peaches, though. Christine Scarpelli, photographer Ryan Goodman, take us on a tour of Gaffney in this week's hometown spotlight. Call it crazy, but in the city of Gaffney, even the sun. Well, it's this part of our lives here. Rises peach. Have a sunny day. In what people call the peach capital of the state, there's someone up early. I get up at 1230 
every morning. With a name like his disposition, putting a less nutritious treat. I love so enjoy the McDonald's. On the map. Georgia, Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, Japan. Yeah, tour from Japan. Sunny Pong came to the U.S. to escape genocide in Cambodia in the 1970s. I just walked days and day with no food. He and his wife Lane say those dark days are over. Quite the shining comeback story. Stay here and have a sunny day. Art. It validates me. The City Alliance of Visual Artists makes sure there's plenty of opportunity for it. Just to, to communicate with the other artists. Cindy Wilson leads the group in the city's old fallout shelter. She says it's a good way to remember Gaffney's historic roots. It's important to the city. It's important to everybody. And let loose. A little bit of fun along the way. Three, two, the commotion downtown. So we are toasting to a sweet life. Has been hard to miss. They've been busy over there. Locals on lunch break can't help themselves. I, it's just funny. <laughs> Opening a small business, Sweet Life Creamery, a big deal. Trying to keep up with the machines that are spilling all over the floors. <laughs> For a village, joining forces to fill storefronts. Yes, we um, actually got some napkins from Harold's across the street this morning. And uh, the peach shed provided the peaches for us. The peaches actually come from peach farms all over the Gaffney area. The farmers bring their crop here to roadside stands like this one at Abbott Farms. I'm third generation farmer. Abbott Farms is one of many with 100 plus acres of produce putting food on the table for families and serving up nostalgia. And we have so many people that come into the store and say, hey, you know, I used to pick peaches when I was young. Something you just can't find in a store. But they've heard so much about it that they come out and they try it and they're sold. In Gaffney, life's the peach. Christine Scarpelli, 7 News. So yeah, as that video said, the downtown Gaffney has a lot to offer, even though they can't always see it. And as I said in the first video, I didn't say that, I said there's either a feature or a no feature downtown. And it's up for the people of Gaffney to figure that out. But it's also for people Gaffney to discover these new small places to allow the downtown to succeed. That is what we really need. That's what we're gonna have to do in order to make Gaffney successful. Um, uh, you, you see the industries, new things like Abbott Farms. Uh, it's been there for a while. Uh, Sweet so Life Creamery, it's new. And um, Sony's Donuts has been there for a while too. All these different companies in Gaffney that are actually doing pretty well for themselves, but just need to be discovered a little bit more. Um, those well, small companies, it's, it's gonna be the spark. For new companies to come to Gaffney, that's what it's, that's what it's, that's what's gonna have to be. All these different small countries, small companies, even the big companies, all of them are gonna have to work together to make our downtown better. And if we don't do that, like I said in the first episode, then um, I'm not sure if there's anything that we can do. But as I said, also in the first episode, that um, it's again, it's up to the people. You see industries, all these different buildings, all these different empty buildings of Gaffney. There's a simple fix to that. If someone goes and opens, opens a restaurant in one building, it can change the whole atmosphere of Gaffney. Everyone can, you'll see buildings start to sprout up. It's sort of what's happening right now, but uh, it's up to the businesses to maintain healthy hours and maintain what the city of Gaffney needs and not just close at five o'clock, open at nine, open at two, close at five. We need, also need our downtown to be more successful during the night time. Downtown Spartanburg and Greenville boom at night time. But downtown Gaffney, you won't see you only see about five cars in the road. That is one of the many things that will attract people to Gaffney. And it's sort of surprising we don't have anything. Like things like the Yellow Mall and the Big E, they attract people to go to Gaffney. But yet we still don't have a right downtown. So I'm not sure what's gonna work for Gaffney, but they need to figure it out. And um it's up to you, people who are watching this, to make something happen. Because it's our future that can determine something new for the city of Gaffney. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to remind you there'll be an all-new episode this Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Covering Harold's Restaurant, which is also downtown, which also gave much popularity to the downtown. So that's Wednesday. I'll be here. Have a great day. Space Invader I'll be a rock and rollin' bitch for you